Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. I promised we would start our Route 66 journey in Tulsa, and so we are. I'm going to take you around to see some of the Route 66 locations here in town. It is raining. Uh, it just started raining because when I need to shoot video outside, that's when the rain starts. That's just how that works. Uh, we're going to start today with lunch, with lunch at Tally's. I've eaten here many times. I was actually going to take you to Coney Islander today, but it's closed. So Tally's it is. So let's check out Tally's on Route 66 and a couple other locations. It's raining. We may get a little soaked, but we're not going to let that get us down. Let's go. Well, that was Tally's. It was way too loud in there for me to get any audio. And the rain seems to have let up. There's also this cool antique mall that I go into from time to time. Maybe I'll take you in there sometime, but not today. Cool place, though. All right, goodbye Tally's, and let's move on to our next location. There is the University of Tulsa campus where I went to law school. Uh, the actual law school building is not near here. It's, uh, it's way on the other end of campus and off in, off in that direction. But uh, the stadium is there. The, uh, the football field is there. Uh, the main buildings are all over at this end. Uh, but yeah, I spent a lot of time in this area. A lot of time eating at these restaurants over here getting gas at that quick trip. Yeah, a lot of years, a lot of hours spent in this area. Mother Road Market is right over there. That's relatively new space and it's nice inside. It's nice inside. I kind of wish I had taken you guys in there today. I don't think we're going to have time for that, uh, so we'll just take a brief look at it from the outside. Buck Adams Cosmic Curios. This is another relatively new place, but I've never been here, and I've always wanted to check it out. So let's let's go inside and uh, see what we find. Uh, some graffiti. Cool car. This must be Buck Adam himself. Is this a clock? It was. Parts of it were. So the guy that makes those, he's a retired electrician. So a lot of the pieces are old equipment he used to use. That's um, really cool. Work, they're totally outdated these days. Yeah. He's super fun. Well, I got some stuff. It's really cool inside, but I gotta take another look around outside. This place is really cool on the outside too. Look, there's a robot.
That was Buck Adam Cosmic Curios. Really cool place. We'll go back. Great place to get um, souvenirs from Route 66. And uh, there's another Route 66 icon right across the street. Let me show you. There is the old Meadow Gold sign. That has been here for uh, longer than I've been around. Uh, it used to be attached to a building that no longer exists, but they wanted to preserve the sign because it was a piece of Route 66 memorabilia, so they placed the sign on top of this, uh, this little new uh, stand here. So there you go. I got a t-shirt and a coffee mug because those are the main two things I collect. And I got a magnet because a viewer requested one. One more place to go. It is not exactly on Route 66. It's near it, but it is a Tulsa icon, and I'd like to wrap up the video with that. So let's take a look at the Golden Driller. And there he is, the Golden Driller. Yeah, it's a big statue of a, an oil rig driller. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really big. It's uh, I wouldn't exactly call that color golden. It's, it's kind of gold-ish, but more of a tan. There used to be a petroleum exhibition held here um, back in like, uh, I don't know, the 50s or something like that. And uh, they had this mascot. They had uh, a different one each year. And it was actually golden. Instead of the temporary statues, they decided to erect this permanent one. I'm not sure if we can get up to it, but let's see if we can. That gate looks to be closed. But uh, let's go see our, our old buddy, the Golden Driller. Yeah, the gate is closed, so we can't walk over there from here. Uh, might be able to get over there from a different way, so I'm going to check that out. There it is. There are some people for scale. And there is an unobstructed view of the Golden Driller. Now, they do dress this guy up sometimes. They'll put t-shirts on him and stuff you know for for events and things he's attached to the expo center which is this very large building uh, where they hold big events uh, big big events it goes all the way down there uh, but let's get up a little bit closer like i said this isn't technically route 66 because this is about a mile south of route 66 in tulsa but you can't if you're passing through tulsa you got to stop and see the golden driller the fairgrounds is connected to this property and I remember as a child going to the fair and sitting on this foot and waiting for my dad to bring the car around. I am compelled to point out he is not anatomically accurate. He has no nipples. Perhaps you're wondering what the golden driller is gazing out upon. What's he looking at? He's looking across the street and it's uh it's just a neighborhood that's all that will wrap up our tulsa route 66 journey for today hopefully it's not too windy and you can actually hear me uh when next we speak we will be on route 66 headed west we will comb the desert you hear me comb the desert i will see you then thanks for watching i'll see you next time